Matt, we were talking about this just a, f- a few seconds ago. A few seconds. Chris Redfield, the worst not hero ever. He's not a Zoe. No. No, end of don't, hero. Don't end worry of hero. about that. That'll come later. That's but. end of hero. Uh, Chris, Chris, I'm not a hero, despite the fact I punched the bio boulder to death. Hey, remember when you literally saved the entire planet Earth with Sheva Alamar? Twice. Tw- no, he saved Europe in RE6. He didn't save the world in that one. He saved the world in five. He saved the world in five, yeah. or at least Africa. Well, there were missiles. They were going to shoot There, everybody. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> bio missiles. The Heroboros <laughs> missiles. I got a fucking thing in my throat. Yeah, it's probably some type of parasite. No, it's because of the spicy food and the phlegm. Some type of parasite. Oh, man. It's probably a curse. <laughs> throat curse. That's not as bad as the fucking bio boulder joke that you made like a few minutes ago. What do you mean? Chris is a big enough hero that he punched a bio boulder. <laughs> it was a cursed boulder. That couldn't look less like Chris. It looks like a guy from Dead Aim his, or Gun his, Survivor. His fucking hair isn't even brown. It's like a dirty blonde. Plus, Chris's face has huge muscles in it. He has, his face is rippling with face muscles. That is totally baffling. Like, I remember they said they changed the way he looked so that... He looks um, the same. He as... fit the art style and fine, right? But th- this doesn't look like they took old Chris and put him in a new art style. Because remember when people beat the game? Yeah. And Chris shows up? And we're like, who the fuck is that? People were like, is that a fake Chris Redfield? Like, that's how different he fucking looks. You know what it is? You know what it is? Uh, Chris is now undergoing the, the the troubles that Jill has had for the last 10 oh, years. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where they don't know what the fuck she looks like okay. anymore. Just here for the story and the puzzles. I, I can handle a little action. Considering how good Chris probably is in this. Yeah. Because he punched the bio boulder. I don't think the Bakers or Louisiana has anything that he's not seen. I punched Ouroboros to death. <laughs> Which is a virus. What? Fucking company? I don't even get that. Oh, this is Lucas. Is it ready? Can we begin? I can't help it, man. We've got work to do. Oh, that's Lucas talking to his uh, his uh, buddies. Well, remember last time we were like, wow, Lucas just kind of got away without any repercussions, really. And it's we're kind like, of astonishing. Maybe that'll just be DLC. And we were right. Mm. Hey, now we're back at the end of RE7. Hope you watched or beat that shit. Oh, I don't think anyone would click on this one, really. Chris, did we lose him? Yes. No, no. Ethan Winters Who has been secured. Who are you? He's alive and well, considering. And Lucas Baker? Right now, another, he's That's another man. He's next on my list. The Connections. <laughs> He looks like a hero. That's stupid. That's dumb. I work for Blue Umbrella now. Yeah. Which, if they don't Umbrella explain that Alpha. in the next 10 seconds, I'm gonna go into ten it. 10 seconds, not 15. It has to be 10. It's 10. They've already... Fi- oh, man. He's just hunk now. Here's here's one thing I, I don't... One small thing I kind of mind, and that uh, Ethan or new characters in RE7, they can be whatever they want. They can fit the umbrella, uh, the RE7 right. art I'm style, but I don't Signal like Chris strong. now just wearing all clear, black. Yeah. I like Chris wearing a little bit of green, he's, having that little bit of... He's a weird, he's a weird hunk guy. I like him wearing a little bit of Japanese character design, and now he's just like a guy in black. Whatever. It's a minor thing. Got it. All right, so... Got it. The fact that I'm a robot is kind of weird. Well, you're wearing a heads-up display. All right, let's see what I got. Got knifey for stabbings. Did that ever become a default option? I don't think so. That's a big old ro- uh, big soldier old sh- gun. That's a big old shoot bang. Is big what old it soldier is. gun right there. I don't remember how to play this game, so I'm gonna look at the controls. Why don't you look at the controls? Uh, there's no fucking thing here. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that didn't help. Like, so a couple things. One, did you notice that the umbrella had an HMD I display? Did. I- Okay. It's a fucking reference to the fucking thing. <laughs> to what, Stupid beautiful shit. Joe? No. <laughs> um, also, okay, so blue umbrella, get this. I remember this exact fucking spot in the mine. Yeah. Uh, cause we need to reuse assets. 
because I'm not a hero. So problem being is that the mine is the shittiest area in it's RE7. The okay, I I don't think I really said this that much, but it's like RE7 is like fantastic until I love you get it. to this area. It ha it kind of just falls apart a little bit. It kind of falls apart a little bit, not not detrimentally, but. Uh, like, everything with the Bakers was great, and it's just, when you got to this area, it reminded me of, of Revelations 1. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, specifically the, ironically, the Chris missions, yeah. which were the, my least favorite. So, oh, wow, we're just going, huh? Weren't we talking shit about the Molded in uh, Evil Within? We were oh, like, man. yeah, we were. We were like, man, everything in Evil Within 2 is a cooler character than a uh, cooler bad guy. Uh, so, I should mention this feels like the blueprint for uh, Breakdown. the. No, but like putting classic Resident Evil characters into this system. Mm -hmm. Because. Oh, fuck! It says R2 wow. without aiming is punch. And then I hit it, and it's like, okay, so the punch is only when enemies are staggered. I guess so. Um, that feels just like RE4. Mm, yeah. Like, just pop, and then, and then pop. Oh, fuck. Okay, when you've killed him, or when you've killed both... Oh, it even, it even staggers the guy next to him. Yeah, well, I think it's because you blasted oh, one into the shit. other. So where did that one come from? Eh, kind of the floor hall. Yeah, but he fell from the ceiling, but there's no hole, so I'm guessing that he just, like... He just gooed out. He just go yeah, exactly. He squished out. So blue umbrella. Ah, oh, fuck off, Any lady. Any idea what Lucas is up to down here? We're still analyzing the data, but it looks like he's been running experiments with an E-type butamycete. Let's hope those men haven't become a part of those experiments. I don't know about this voice. Man. I agree with you in not knowing about this voice. I need to hear more, but... Uh, hmm. Alright, well, I discovered the button that I didn't want to use. Guys, look. Here, here. let's let's run it down real quick. That was like, my only one. Fuck Chris off. Chris in Resident Evil 1, right? Then Chris in Remake. Then Chris in uh, Code Veronica. Then Chris in RE5. Then Chris in RE6, and I'm going to count Chris in um, the last CG movie. Yeah. Where he has the Chris voice from RE5, and he looks like Chris. Then, of course, there's Chris, like we already said, in Revelations 1. That's correct. It's like all of them, like, after a certain point, like, I, you know. They're all variations on the same Code design. Veronica and uh, rem Remake and regular Resident Evil, they all are pretty similar. Like, Code Veronica is obviously a little bit different, but they're all, like, kind of a not thin, but the athletic looking guy who has more or less the same type of hair or whatever. Then RE5, that's where he fucking bulked the fuck up. That was crazy. Goddamn Kylo Ren all of a sudden with his big beefy chest. Yeah, we see that. Um, and then in this one, it's like, I, I'm assuming they're going to have Chris in more games after this and he's going to look like this. That's weird. I, I'm assuming that's why you would change him so much. All right. Fucking Leon in that last CG oh, movie man. is so fucking cool. We need to read this, because it's... Read that Umbrella Blue. I want to talk about Blue Umbrella so bad. Yeah, you do. All right, what's the mission? Uh, Get Baker. Fear. What's the location? We know that. It's the Bakers. What's the threat? There's Moldeds. Mm. Due to the lack of intelligence and the number of unknown factors, Chris Redfield of the BSAA... Who act as a bio boulder specialist. Okay, so a couple things. One, he's on loan to Blue Umbrella. That's so weird. BSAA continues to exist, I guess. Recent intel has confirmed that Baker's in the mines. You know what the intel is? It's Ethan Winter saying he's in the fucking mines! Well, That's the intel. But isn't that like once they rescue Ethan, yeah. uh, the, he just tells them then? Yeah. It's not like he's giving them r daily reports. All right, Luca, maybe he is. Who maybe knows? Maybe he is. Suspected associated of criminal organization, The Connections. <laughs> That's a terrible That's like name. the Howard Connection. Uh, holds vital intel regarding said organization. Profile The Connections. It's a criminal organization producing bioweapons for sale in the international black market. Limited intel at size, market share, and members. They are the prime suspects implicated in the production of the distribution of EV. Okay. E-series models. Evelyn is present and active at the Baker Estate. Lucas seems to be monitoring her and reporting on her activity. Okay, so that's who his new pals are. I guess it's like it's like Infogrames bought the Atari name. Yeah. So is this like a company bought the umbrella name? Yeah. Well, no, actually, it's something very dumb and different. But All what right. I just described is dumb. 
So yeah, well, get ready. So okay. for many of you that your first mission with us, we want to know, make it clear what Umbrella is all about. Yeah. <laughs> so many of our staff hail from that infamous pharmaceutical many. giant umbre umbrella. Our purpose is to make amends for the atrocities perpetuated in the umbrella name. That's why we reincorporated as a PMC Jeez. in 2007. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So remember in RE4, uh, uh, umbrella was basically banned from doing business forever by the U.S. Pretty government much. and the stock market. They then the the, the economic solution was to rebrand as a military force with their existing military force. Because Umbrella had a bunch of those. As a counterpart to the BSAA to fix all the shit they made. But then you, if there's many staff members, I'm going to assume they're using all this as a front to still regain Who shit. Who knows? That's why Chris is working with them, because he doesn't trust the I'm Blue keep an eye on We will you. put a stop to not only anyone who's engineering or selling bioweapons, but those who support those efforts as well. We made a mess, and now we got to clean it up. By keeping the umbrella name, we show that we take responsibility for that mess, and we want to remember you carry that responsibility with you in every mission. Should you call yourself anti-umbrella? Then. What's the what's the reverse of an umbrella? Like a rainstorm? I was about to say like raincoat. It's not the reverse. But well, that that would make people think they're like a, a water gun. A, Is a, that the a reverse? VOW condom company? Yeah. yeah want to want to fuck a liquor? Put this raincoat Use on. Use this extra small one. Ugh. Boy, do I forget how to play Resident Evil 7 at all. Well, it was like a year ago almost. Not, yeah, this DLC was delayed like crazy. Which is weird. Because it's short. Whoa. Get you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. Okay, put the gun. We're both walking out of here. I got news for you. What? Oh, That's not gonna happen. Lucas. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. That's cool. <laughs> Now you can try and take that off all you want, but I'd advise against. My hand might slip and. Uh... Lucas, no! Ah! Oops. <laughs> now here's the deal, Chris. You don't follow me, and I don't bounce your head off the ceiling. Oh, and the same goes for your little soldier brains too. Adios. <laughs> Move, I fucking love <laughs> Lucas. Man, Stamper's really gone to the dogs here. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How very uh, Sebastian. Oh. Shit. Keep an eye on your oxygen tank to be safe. Oh, okay. Here's our little new gimmick, I guess. Oh uh, yeah. Putting the spores in my. That's in my... fine. I'm always down for like an RE game that does a little bit of don't get infected. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. I that's, fucking, that's fucking Oh, I remember fast. going through here. This is where we found out all the crazy shit about Evelyn. Do you need to re-up oxygen, or do you just need to leave? I guess it... Okay, like yeah, you're safe now. You Air clear. That bomb on your arm deactivated. There's no time. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Are you serious, motherfucker? Understood. Just be careful. Thanks, Hunnigan. I mean, not Hunnigan. I mean... Morgan? No. Sorry, where where was I'm struggling to remember this. Where was Hunnigan in again? She was in RE6. No. She was in RE6. She works yeah, for the US she, government. But she's only on Leon's campaign, right? That's correct. Okay. Because she only cares about Leon. Because I was forgetting about Helena. Oh, fuck off. I thought Helena was Hunnigan for a second. That's a fine mistake to make. Mm. They're both they're both super hot brunettes, so. Is Helena a brunette even? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Oh no! Bitch. I really hope that there's at least one new enemy type in this. Oh, there is. You can I have see not it in the seen trailer. any. I have not seen any. Uh, the new trailers for this, I have not watched anything. I haven't seen anything from End of End of Hero either. End of Hero. Yeah, not a Zoe. Yeah. You intercepted like thought, it. The son of a bitch has been sending status reports on Evie to the connections. Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Are you sure you just don't want to recruit him? <sighs> Chris, we've been over this. Ugh, Maybe Chris. the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. Ha! But working with Umbrella is going to take some getting used to on my part. Okay, that's I good know line. it must be difficult. And to tell the truth, a lot of our members have been with us since even before we reincorporated as a BSAA. Yeah, they were down with the evil before. About all that's left now is the name. Let's just focus on the mission, and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back. Okay? 
Sure, whatever. <laughs> I, I is lost, this a newish area? This is 100% now. Yeah. Okay. That elevator took me down into a new part of the mines that looks just like an area from fucking Alien. Hmm. Yeah, the the Chris voice was a bit more. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, He's, but he, he kind of did it really gruff early, and I'm like, man, sounds a little. I'm not a try hardy. Just that is a bomb. I guess so. I mean, Lucas all about traps, right? I I I love that Lucas is a totally different kind of Resident Evil villain. Yeah. Like one of the bigger things that we talk about is like, what was your fucking plan when you turned into a monster? Yeah. Is it about? Is are you gonna have sex again? Because that's out the door. Defense Not coin. sure if you're gonna be able to strike up a relationship with anyone anymore. Unless, unless they're really cool about it. Unless, yeah, unless their kink is like weird, weird <laughs> bio monster penises. Oh yeah, that's um, my shit. Or you get one of those really, really good viruses that kind of lets you like rein it back a bit when you need it. Which is exactly what he's got. Yeah, that's true. He's got. Oh, that's a cool ass little big drill. I love those big drills. Yeah. Like, because that's as close to Gurren Lagan as we're ever gonna get. You pointed at a thing and a drill. Yeah. Those super machines. Alright, you, you know that show on, on, like, TLC or whatever, or, like, Discovery Network, it's like super machines. It's always about, like, Swedes or something that make, like, a giant drill that will bore through the earth. We made a boat that fucks the ocean. Yeah. It just sucks the ocean clean. All right, we got... Okay, so you notice this? I got uh, all these fucking fancy doors. Yeah, they're very fancy. All right, let's 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 try and focus around here. So, generic molded are, like, hilariously not threatening to Chris at all. He's like, eh. They're one bullet and one punch. I fought a spider god. I think I'm... I can handle this. Like, I would love for him to have it like, these molded are bitches, man. You should have seen the fucking Chimera back in the day. There you go. Here's the cage. All Corny's. right, hold on. I got a Granada. All right, what do we got into this fucking You need three thing? coins. Well, what, is the, what is the item It's a uh, steroids. It's, st oh, I love. Because Chris loves the juice. Chris needs more juice. Okay. You're a gas head, Chris. S stabilizer, that's it. We only got eight coins in the whole DLC, probably. All right, let's uh, do it. I'm sure you're not aware of this, but in TNA, um, the wrestling promotion that none of us really watched. That's correct. Kevin Nash. Oh. Kevin Nash was in sketches where he played Dr. Nash, who is in the backstage would just give wrestlers advice and stuff, and he'd always claim that everyone was on the juice. He's like, you're, you're a gas head. And then, like, the rest was like, no, I'm not, man. He's like, yeah. What's this? The juice? Has Hogan been around? <laughs> All right. Looks like we're just going to have to go down three little paths, each one being <laughs> approximately 24 minutes long. <laughs> That's so <laughs> bad. You, you've now, like, like nailed this entire DLC. That's what that is. It's got to be. Oh, remember there were three soldiers that he got, too? It's true. <laughs> I've now unlocked the- oh my fucking god. That's not bad. This might as well be underground the fucking Spencer estate right now. Might- yeah. Okay, that does open. Similar door design. Oh, I forgot about a, a detail in RE7 where you can pop that and you realize if a door is open a bowl. Okay, I'll, yeah, need, yeah. I'll need some bullshit for that. Probably the Lucas plaque. I have not gotten a single go, go, go. bullet in the entire DLC. That's true. So far. You got grenades, but yeah. Yeah. High grade. Oh shit, you have to upgrade that. Alright, well, this is not where to go. Okay, uh, well then this, yeah. Gotta leave, I guess. Alright, interesting. There's a specific path to go down. Which is weird, because then that just... What is the point not... of the all three? Why not yeah, just... Yeah, why not just block it all off? You know why? Because it gives the player the sense of progression that they require to make them feel like it's not a goddamn railroad. Like the Metroid-like. Yeah. But even more limiting. Well, Chris can go back to the other areas now that he has and his upgrade. game new skills. The upgrades for his fancy suit that for some reason are in this... Oh, they're on the fucking members! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. other guys That's have the fucking thing. Fallen soldiers. All right. Oh shit. Oh, you, you look okay fucked, buddy. Here's a Lucas prank. Redfield. Yeah, no it's worry. me, the biggest hero ever. Gonna find a key to this thing and get you out of there. This okay, reminds me. I guess me, that's that. This reminds me of the the trap that Baker, I think, is uh, uh, strapped into in MGS. 
Oh, yeah. With, with the, all the cinder blocks and, yeah. like, wires and shit. Oh, I'm going back up, I see. That's not what I expected. I expected all downhill from here. So I guess you need another key to get into him and then... Like, steal his upgrade once he's dead. Are you noticing that this mine seems to be coming more like Umbrella Facilities Underground? There's way more technology in this mine than I think most mines have, this but then again, I'm not a miner. This doesn't feel like the salt- Oh, this is where there's a big fucking boss fight. Or I, something. Or no, you see enemies. it in the trailer. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, there's a couple let's enemies Let's just make right sure now. let's back up so that they can Why'd all- you throw a Granado? Yeah, why not? There's a couple of them, so... Hey, not bad. Actually... Nice, nice exact animations. Oh, fuck off. They're all squiggly and squiggly. Very hard to kill. This pistol More. is the shit. Are oh. you... Oh! Whoa! It's guts move! Okay, stop. Oh, shit! Not without aiming. I I appreciate that that prompt comes up every oh, shit. time. Lots of dudes. Let's see what this thing it does. That's what That's it do. That's pretty good. I see. He's got a weird arm. Oh. Come on. He's doing his dance. Holy shit! Look at you guys. Okay, at least killed the one that was writhing on the floor. Let's back up so he does the jump. And then do this. He looks like he has a big prototype arm. Oh, right. And again, I know we're beating being a dead molded oh! by telling about the molded, but that's like the the conjoined uh, monster that's like that in Evil Within 2. Absolutely. Like a little more scary. Well, have you noticed to be that, fair, those are different types have of Have you enemies. noticed that all the hits I've taken, I'm still at green? Shit, yeah, and you're and, on normal. So. And that, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris gets a goddamn classic Resident Evil style EKG uh, health bar. That's true, it's true. Unlike, uh, Ethan. Well, I, Ethan's was looking at the wristwatch thing, wasn't it? Yeah. I think this is their- oh, thank There's- God. there's your guns. I think this is their way of, like, the, the heads-up display thing is their way of making it so that Chris feels like he's from the older game. What's the worst heads-up display in a Resident Evil game? I have my answer, but... Dreamcast's Code Veronica? I'm- I was gonna say RE6. I hated RE6's. How it would change with every character. Wait, stop. More? One well, more well hey. That was a lucky fucking shot. That's quite a gun I got packing with me. I guess. It's a gun befitting a hero. But yeah, I really disliked RE6s. Like, I'll well, give them points for, hey, it's neat that everyone gets their own heads-up display, but, like, it's annoying to have to constantly... They're also all hideous. <laughs> Wasn't it on everyone's cell phone or something? Yeah, no, it was all just... Leon's is a cell phone. It was phone. all just fucking crap-ass. We're gonna have to play RE6 one day. I was about to actually say to you, Remember when you put RE6 on the list of possible LPs like two years ago? Yeah. And I kiboshed that harder than I've kiboshed any suggestion well, we've ever done. The reason why is because I've never actually seen it all. I, I beat me on the I've campaign. seen almost all of it except for the second half of Ada's. And trust me, it is it is long as shit. Yeah, I know it's really long. It's Dark Souls level long. What the? Why'd it go up? But just there's a body in it. Or like multiple uh, mannequins. Oh, I have to clear out all the enemies that I've already cleared out so that I can do this. Yeah, that's him. <sighs> it needs something else. Uh, tender loving care? What? Because it has mannequins inside, and I think one of them has an item. Yeah. Like, the it has a hand or something. That's bizarre. How bizarre. All right. Oh, well, let's, let's try this again. I want to see. Why don't you it, lower it? What does it actually say? That it, it needs something else. Is so. So that's all right. That's nice and vague. I like that. Yeah. I, I lied. See that, that arm is. Yeah, that's where the weird. key is at. I wish you could just shoot it. Yeah. Well, that would, don't waste the bullet. But yeah. That would be much too Resident Evil. Oh, there you go. There we go. It needs a gyro. All right, one more enemy to spawn, or was it actually when I just walked in? It was I just when I walked probably, in. Yeah. All right, let's do it. This ought to do it. Yeah. Yeah, man. 
Oh, more enemies. I hear it. Oh, big the big Stinko. Yeah, that's the boss. Yeah. Mo. Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo! <laughs> High regeneration. Target He's unaffected. Tell me what I'm looking at. I have no idea. It's something new. Yeah, just Exercise leave. extreme caution. All right. It did we fight? We did fight things that were like that were that, right? I don't recall them being that big though, which is weird. All right. So this thing is our nemesis. Oh. Like we might get an upgrade that kills it. Is what you're We're saying? gonna have to mash it into a trash compactor or some shit. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean grenade, and they even put the heads-up display of like. Like, don't waste your shit. Don't even bother. I was just leave a guess. Now it's fucking tearing ass. So. Yeah. It has. It it just it lets you get far enough away, and then it says, "Now it's time to tear my own ass," which will heal quite quickly. Thank you. Yeah, fortunately. Um, you read that thing about when I yelled, hey, Mo? Hey, Mo! You read that thing? Yes, I fucking did, but you tell that, please. Uh, so when the Red Hot Chili Peppers were on that episode of the Simpsons with Krusty's comeback special, when all the, uh, uh, Chili Peppers come into the bar, uh, most of them go, like, hey, Mo, hey, Mo. And then I think it's Flea. He screams so loud, they're in the recording booth. And, and he's at the ass end of the recording booth. He's at the booth. door, and he screams, Hey, Mo! And it was so loud that it picked up so well, and they're like, we can just use that take. And it's <laughs> also, like, overriding the other people's dialogue. Hey, Mo, hey, Mo. It's fucking... Forget you, clown. It's like, are we gonna do that again, or are we gonna use this awesome thing? Yeah. Well, you're fucking fucked, bro. Everything's alright now. Are you serious? You should Eskimo kiss between your masks. You I'm just the bait, and you. Why didn't you tell it. me that before? What? Oh shit! Fuck! I'm right there. I'm in mask. Hurry, but you'll die. Yeah, well. I'm dead either way. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. No, take the take the filter. I'm you're, trying you're, to you're gonna take it because his head's gonna get. Yeah, that's how you take it. Oh, I will say that I do enjoy like um, RE 7s like kind of almost extreme violence. I'm sorry. Are you gonna die? Yeah. Okay, no, it's just like kind of a cutscene. Like Resident Evil games always violent, but there's like Lucas. It's like really over the top in this. Oh place. hell yeah! But it somehow is. it's still realistic. Like I think of when the black uh, cop guy gets his head slashed in half by a shovel. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Because it's not even because he he gets like jabbed with it. Yeah, like in the back of that. It's, it's ridiculous. Just, yeah, it's very movie esque. All right, so because Chris's combat abilities are so much stronger than Ethan's, I Wait, don't think so I'm actually going to get that much ammunition. So that height, that filter just now completely solves it? Uh, it completely solves generic contamination. I, for a second there, I thought that was a item. That's why I came back. Let's, you know what? Hey, let's let's check back. Oh, there's some goo. There's some meat. There's some good meat. The pulsating using meat. Uh, and it means that high-grade contamination will now... Um... To act Just like drink. regular contamination. Okay. There's tears of contamination. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So sometimes he turns the faucet on really hard. <laughs> I can't wait to get my hands on that asshole. Rip him Just right open. We need him alive, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, save. yeah, yeah. Apprehend Lucas. I will. I will, motherfucker. Defeat Calamity Lucas. Yeah, yeah. Because he is. Like, he outlasted uh, uh, Jack, you know? Shotgun ammo. Oh! I didn't even really... I didn't... I thought that was a rifle. That's a shotgun. What? I assumed it was a machine gun, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a Thor shotgun. Sorry, it's called what? Thor's hammer. That's awesome! The Albert Wesker model? The, it's the Samurai Edge. Oh, wow. That's why it's so good. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that, I darling. actually appreciate that the BSAA, working with weapons manufacturers, have built a bunch of regular-ass firearms. It's like, no, this kills B.O.W.s. He tested it. That's what this shit is for. 
Don't worry about it. We babe. have a bunch of zombies and shit left over from a bunch of bunch of bullshit. Um, Don't worry. and guess what? This shit kicks their fucking ass. Yeah, no, the contamination thing is just totally negated now. Look, it's it's, it's at 100. percent Okay. Oh. Why even have that mechanic? Oh. Are you new? Nah. That looks new. I don't know. Can't tell. I don't remember them having hands like that. More uh, research is needed. Oh no. Chris, this new white variation is extremely Normal resilient. ammo. Normal ammo isn't is going no to good. It. I'm open to suggestions. You'll need ramrods to stop it from regenerating lost tissue. Are You're you going to have to fall back? Okay. Oh man, someone needs to let me know if that's a real military term for any type of ammo. If that's like I'm gonna a real need thing. ramrods. Man, you're gonna need to ram some rods. Of course, it's gonna be absolutely completely ridiculous when uh, I hit it with a ramrod and it staggers, and then Chris's punch is the thing that kills it utterly. Well, no, because the uh, the enemy is so humiliated by and the they, ramrodding. That they really don't want me to go down that fucking just, door, do they? Wow, that's really weird that you got an upgrade to go in there, but then it's like, no, 